Let's see how we can quickly define that vas from the thumbnail. So within a new file in Fusion, I'm going to show the origin. I'm going to define a new sketch on the X and Y plane. I'm going to use the polygon, so the first, uh, the first polygon type. From the middle, I'm going to define one with a ra radius of 50 millimeters. After that, I will select one of the edges and I'm going to make them horizontal. So we're going to have it aligned like this. This will be the first profile. After that, go and define a new polygon. The same radius, so this will be again 50. But now we are also going to have it aligned. So I'm going to go all the way to sketch dimension and I'm going to add an angle between that edge and the x, um, x axis and I will set that to 30 degrees. Now I'm going to go on trim and I'm going to hold down the left click and I'm going to trim all the middle self intersection within the sketch so I can use this directly within a form. After that click on finish sketch and we are going to define a form with that so go up to create form create and we are going to define an extrude i'm going to select that sketch and we're going to add a distance of 30 millimeters for this one for the number of faces we can go with 24 and i'm going to click on ok now we need to start shaping that pass so go to edit form Starting with the edge selection, I'm going to double click on this loop over here. I'm going to go in the middle to scale this section and I'm going to scale it all the way up to 2.2. The same double click selection for the upper loop. And over here we want to have it narrower. So I'm going to go all the way down to 0.15. Now we see that our bottom is quite uh, quite large, so we still have the initial 50 uh, radius polygon. And I'm going to scale that down something like 0 0.6. Okay. We can also adjust the upper section, so maybe I'm going to make it a little bit larger, 1.3. Now we can also add some rotations on those edges. I'm going to go on modify, double click on one of those edges and I'm going to rotate, rotate them like this. So I'm going to go 30 degrees, the same on the bottom and I'm going to have those rotated on the same axis again, 30 degrees. And now we're going to see that our model will have those twist twisted shapes so in order to finish this design we need to add a patch on the bottom to do that we are gonna finish this form go up to surface create and we are gonna patch it using the patch tool select the bottom the bottom outline and we're gonna see that we're gonna have that patched with a surface now we need to have um, a stitch so we can combine those. So the top part and the bottom part will be stitched together. Now we see that the normals are reversed. If you only want to use this vase for some visualization, uh, we can keep it like this only in surface. Then we should reverse the normals. So I'm going to type in S, that will be the quick search. And I'm going to search for reverse normals. We're going to see this first feature. The faces that I want to reverse will be this and I'm going to click on OK. And now I'm going to have those reversed. Therefore, they will be visible with their material on, on the outside. Now I would like to add some, some fillets to this. So we can do that from modify using the fillet section. 
Over here I can do a selection, a drag and drop selection like this, that will select all those edges. And I'm gonna go with a radius of 3 for this. So you can type in over here the value, and if you're gonna press the tab key, that will do an update. I will slightly increase that to, to 5 millimeters. So we see that we have 25 faces and 48 edges. We're also going to add that fillet on the bottom section of, um, of our model. When we are fine with, with the fillet, we're going to click on OK. And now we just need to add some thickness, because if I'm going to go into sectionalize within the model, we can also flip it. We're going to see that we don't have that section. So in order to add some thickness, Okay, let me clear that. So I'm going to hide that analysis. Now we're going to add thickness. You can either go up to create thicken or press S thicken. It will be the same command. I can select the face like this. So for both faces, both the uh, bottom like this. So you're going to see two selected or we can directly select it over here. Now we're going to see only one selected, but it will also go for the for the bottom side. So maybe you want to create a preppy 3D print of this. I'm just going to add a thickness of 3 for this on the outside. I press tab, but it the software requires a little bit of time in order to, to have that defined. So if you want to go on the inside, you can go with minus 3, but keep in mind that for some radius, you may encounter some problems. Over here, for 3, it shouldn't be a problem. But if I'm going to increase this value up to like 10 or 15, there may be some self-intersections. And after that, I can go and apply that ticken by going on the OK button. I see that the software is lagging a bit, so maybe the, the computer is not that, let's say, new for advanced modeling. And now again, if I'm going to activate the analysis, I'm going to see that I'm going to have that three millimeters thicken on the inside of the vase. So this is ready to be 3D, 3D printed. So to do that, you will go up to file and you're going to go on export. And over here, you can either go for an OBJ or you can pick the, let's say, older file STL files. So OBJ has some advantages over, over STL files. You can name that. Okay, we see that uh, since I have an educational version, this file requires a cloud translation, but the design has not been saved the cloud. So in order to have this saved as an STL, I will have to, to save it. I'll call it something like pause. I'm going to have that saved and I have the possibility to go and have that exported either as an STL. We're going to see that this will be processed within their uh, their class system or we can go in with an OBJ. But again, we're going to need to have that transition on their, uh, their website. I'm going to go with export and we're going to see the, the status for this. It should uh, start processing quite soon. I'm going to wait with the, with the record in order to have that process so we can open that. So we see that the status bar is slowly progressing. Maybe it will take several, let's say, even minutes for this. So, no. Finish, we see showing file explorer and now we're gonna have that base i can double click i can have it open if i'm using a microsoft operating system i can open it like this and this model can be imported directly to, to a 3d printer slicer something like prusa or other similar it's just gonna need to ro have the model rotated over there okay so if you find this kind of video useful, feel free to, to give me some comments 
uh, in the comment section. Also, if you have some specific, uh, maybe product uh, design questions, you can also feel free to, to leave me a comment and I will try to slowly address those with, uh, with a video similar like this. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.